Hi guys, this is Kasia. I'm feeling artsy and today we are going to learn how to draw three real simple roses in a vase. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw this vase. I'm going to start from the bottom part. So first I'm going to draw this little line that's on the bottom and it's straight. And then I'm going to curve up. So almost go like towards do a piece of a circle on each side. So I'm going to go from this side up and then from this side up. And you can make it more round or less round. Just make sure you do it the same on both sides. Once you've done your sides, you will curve in. So now we'll do this piece. So instead of going out this way, you will go in this way. And you're going to do it on the other side too and you need to try to match it just like before and once you have these lines going up you will go up as high as you want and that will be the top part of your vase and once you are done with your straight lines you will connect them here and that's your vase once your vase is done we're going to do your flowers I'm going to do three just like here and I'm going to do these stem pieces first. And if your vase is not see-through like mine is, then you will not do the bottom parts. But mine is see-through so I'm going to go ahead and do these lines down because this is the bottom part of my flowers that's inside the vase. But if you want to paint your vase the whole entire thing pink let's say, then do, don't draw these because you can't see them. To do the roses we will do on top of our lines right here we're going to do u's so you will do a u on top of your line which is your stem you will do a u and it can go to the side this one's going to go up like a real u and this one's going to go to the side again once you have your u's inside your u's so from this side to the side you will swirl so I'm going to go swirl out and then I'll swirl out as many times as I have to until I've reached both my sides. So depending how big your rose is or how tight you do it, it may be three times or four times, but you kind of want to stay inside these lines. Here you go. Once you did rose buds, you will do these leaves and these leaves are going down and up like this and you will do it on your three roses they're almost like triangles I guess you can also add leaves to your stems and to do that you will do a leaf stem first and then do the leaf and you will do it again on this one and you can put two if you have room and again on this one once you finish your drawing, just like I did, we're going to color it. The first thing I'm going to do when coloring, I'm going to use my Sharpie and I'm going to outline everything. Once you finish outlining, go ahead and color your roses. I'm going to do my pink just like I did the other ones. But you can do roses in the color. There's roses that are blue, yellow, white, red, all kinds and kinds of colors. I'm using two colors of pinks on these roses so they look more like they have some shading and they're a little 3D. I really like these markers because they have two sides which um, means if you have something really little you can use this little side and if you have some more stuff to color in then you can use the other side and it's a lot thicker and it goes a lot faster you can leave your vase white if it's completely glass and see-through or you can add a little blue, like I did here. Um, it's just a little bit of shade 
or just a little blue to the glass. And when you finish with your drawing, uh, make sure you put it on Instagram and tag me at feeling artsy and that way I can see it because I'd love to see what you have done. And uh, subscribe to my channel so that you can see my next video. I'll see you next time.